Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome back to Call to Arms. We have our first very serious stealth mission here in Call to Arms that I've been creating during my campaign. We've got some U.S. Navy SEALs and a sniper with us in order to try to cut the enemy's communications in this region. Obviously, the enemy is going to try to fight back, and our operations here must succeed. We have two enemy soldiers up in front, and it looks like, luckily for us, this checkpoint has been breached by this car that somehow knocked the barrier over, so we got to get through here. Enemy reinforcements are on their way to the front, and, of course, it's best for us to cut communications and to try to stop them. That convoy there, unfortunately, is a little too much for us to deal with. But our objective is to get to the top of the mountain up here and cut enemy communications and try to stop them from moving through the area the best we can and uh, give some recon back to our forces. Uh, this is Operation screwdriver in conjunction with Operation Sledgehammer that you'll be seeing as well. So, in order to prepare for that mission, we need to get through here. So the first thing we must do, of course, is to take battle command and take control of these troops. Alright, so we've got to eliminate these guys and get through this checkpoint very cautiously. Looks like there's enemy troops right here at this checkpoint. They're already looking uh, for enemies trying to get through their border, so they're uh, doing their little security checks, and we need to make sure we get through silently. This is a good area here to take cover, so let's go ahead and see if we can sneak across this road, I'm trying to go for that uh, all gillied up mission from uh, Call of Duty, so let's see how we do. Alright, so we got a couple of guys here. If we use that 50 cal sniper, everyone's going to hear it, so we got to pop these guys real quick. Alright, we did good. Alright, good job there. Uh, let's see, James Rogers with us. Alright, so... Uh, We've got uh, an AT guy with us as well. Looks like he captured some enemy equipment. Looks like he captured himself an RPG-29 Vampire, so that'll be useful against any equipment that we uh, need to destroy of the enemies. Again, we also have a sniper with us and various different types of uh, C4 and everything else. We're obviously Navy SEALs for the U.S., so of course we know how to work every weapon. We're the best of the best, so it's time to act like it. All right, so we're going to crawl around. By the way, their flashlights are stuck on permanently since this is a night mission, but don't worry, the enemy won't see it. So we're going to sneak up to this wall and try to get through the area. Unfortunately, it looks like those guys gunned down a civilian here, or he died himself, but we got to get through here, and uh, that's not our main objective here. All right, so we got to jump across this, uh, this road crossing here. Go ahead and see if we can do it one by one, line our guys up and see if we can do it. Trying to bunch up all around the uh, concrete barriers here. Almost looks like the Berlin Wall. All right, and here we go. Hopefully no one sees us. Okay, first guy made it across. Oh shit, we got enemy vehicles around. Left and right, good thing we're taking the low ground. All right, one's across, let's go for the next one. Lee Kelly, you're up. Go man, go. Good, another success. They've all got silencers on their weapons. So no matter who they come across, at least no one else is going to hear it. And luckily this operation is taking place during a snowstorm, which is very good for us. You can see the snow everywhere, and it's very hard to see. So let's go ahead and move our next soldier across. Oh man, look at how big that AT weapon is on his back. That is massive. That's a huge anti-tank weapon. Unfortunately, we can't use it on those tanks over there. They'll just chew us up right away. That's not our objective. Orders are that we need to uh, capture an enemy communications center and basically sabotage it. And then push out of the area. Looks like we got a medic with us as well. A pseudo medic. He's got a med kit with him. And finally our sniper. This is Gilly Suit here. And there we go. His stamina is not as good as the seals. And he's got a big ass weapon to carry so obviously he needs to uh, stay in the rear and only deal with certain situations. Looks like there's only one guy in this uh, car here, so let's see if we can pop him real quick. Alright, he's down. No one saw it? Okay, good. Shoot first, ask questions later. Alright. Let's get through here. Bring all of our guys with us. Any patrols around? Nope. Oh, they're not even seeing us over there. They're still checking cars at the checkpoint. Visibility is very low with this snowstorm, so we can definitely walk right up to the enemy and get rid of them if we need to. Too bad this uh, 50 caliber is not silenced. That uh, probably doesn't exist, but you'll have to tell me down below. I'm sure it doesn't. Well, I, I bet there is. I bet they're working on something. I bet they could if they wanted to. You never know. All right, everything looks secure. Everybody, get down. Oh, 
Nope. Okay, we're alright. I think I hear a vehicle moving, but I'm not exactly certain. Okay, let's keep moving. Enemy could be on con uh, patrol anywhere. Constant patrol. We just need to get through here without being seen. Here's our next guy. He's down. Alright. Looks like we found our way through. Earlier reconnaissance shows that we've got a mean old BMP-3 sitting up there, so that would have been a no-go. And there was another vehicle back that way as well that we would have had to have uh, dealt with. Oh, whoo, yes, we would have not want to have dealt with that. All right, so it looks like we made the right choice. All right. Oh, shit, these guys may have heard us. Okay, they know something's up. They may have uh, heard that guy die, or they must have seen uh, bullets whiz. All right, we've got a couple options here. We can toss a nade. Oh, wait a minute. We probably don't want our AT guy going up there. He's too valuable. Let's see. What do we got? Down there looks like a village center. A couple of patrols. Oh, shit. Yep, they're on patrol. They know something's up. Damn it. All right, we got to be quick through here. Maybe we can go around them. No, those two guys know something's up. They might see the flashlight. I don't know. Well, let's see. We can get one of them. What about the other guy? Move across the road with uh, Lee Kelly over here. No other vehicles around. All right. Oh shit! The patrol's on the move. Are they coming over here? Damn it! Shit! He sees us. That guy's a skilled soldier. Back him up. I was going for a grenade. Oh, wow, we got a soldier down. Oh, this is turning to shit. Hold on. Looks like he ran off. He's going to tell his buddies. That's how war goes. All right, we got to get moving. Vehicles are probably on their way here. Unfortunately, we got to leave a homie behind. All right, let's keep moving. Called his friends. Yep, we gotta get out of here. They might not know know even who we are or anything. They might just think we're red, rebels or raiders or something like that. You never know. Even though we have silenced weapons, it's a snowstorm and we lost them pretty easily. Damn. Now, um, one of our soldiers does have a med kit and, uh, if this were an actual campaign mission, I would have been able to program in bringing that guy back to life. So, for these purposes, I guess you could consider that we could bring him back. I just don't know how to program that in. Again, custom mission made by myself on pre-existing maps. Pretty cool. I'm really liking it. Having a lot of fun. Thanks, you guys, by the way, for supporting us at twitch.tv forward slash ratpack, which is where you guys can go to see more of us building these missions live and having a good time. All right, let's see. Where are we going to go from here? like, uh, oh shit, a little ambush waiting for us. Oh, and that guy's got a vampire too. Alright, um, well, this looks like it's a more populated area of town, but nobody's around. Alright, let's keep working our way through. We definitely lost these guys in the snowstorm. You can hear the battle off in the distance if you listen closely enough. Alright, let's keep moving. Yeah, so I'll just consider that we haven't lost a soldier yet since we have a med kit with us and I would have been able to use it, but that's okay too. That's a part of war. I really want to be able to use this 50 cal at one point. Bonus objective is to destroy any heavy vehicle we come across. Yes, sir. But we don't want to leave too many bodies behind us. But leaving a uh, flaming uh, T-80 U would be a good thing. Ooh, I see some flashlights up ahead. Got it, sir. Hold on a second. All right, so we've got solar panels around. Obviously, this is a pretty high-tech area. These guys aren't uh, low funded. All right, hold on. What are we dealing with? These guys have great vision. Shit, the GRM assassin. He may have seen us. I bet he did. These guys are on par with the uh, U.S. Navy SEALs here. All right, let's go ahead and spread our guys out. We may have to ambush here. Don't get on the wall. Oh yeah, that guy's waiting for us. 
Can we snipe him? Oh, we might be able to. A couple of guys up here. Oh, shit, and a BT... Uh, was it an 82? BTR 82, maybe? Oh, boy. Okay. That's where we need to get into. That's where we need to sabotage their communications. Oh, okay, we've got some radar towers here. Oh, that's what we need to do. So not only is there radio, but there's also radar in this area, and obviously to bring in some more heavy troops and troop transports, that's got to go. Chinooks and uh, low-flying helicopters and such will probably be easy targets for that, those types of radars to see. Don't know where these guys are, but we're going to have to pop that vehicle too. That's a primary objective right there, or at least secondary, but of course... Uh, Navy SEALs accomplish every goal. The, the, these guys are freaking out. They know something's up. They're spooked. Somebody tip them off or something? We don't know. Alright, let's get that sniper up there and let's get this uh, AT weapon ready to fire. Last thing we want to do is uh, have that thing come alive. Alright, everybody. Hold on to your butts. These guys are ready to ambush on that wall on the left. Shit, we see somebody. Oh, don't stand up. Don't stand up. Hold on. Stand by. Alright, we're going to have to give away our position. These guys are freaking out. Where's that guy on the right going? Just want to make sure if we shoot, we're going to kill. Go. Somebody had a damn MG. Shit, that fucking BTR is up. Okay, that's not good. No, get down, sniper. Get all these guys down. Worst case scenario has become true. Especially for them. Oh boy, they're gonna have a bad day. Here we go. Oh, shit. That was impressive. All right, all these guys are on open fire. Oh, where the hell he's going? First day there, champ? Jesus. Where's our sniper? Oh yeah, we're having a badass silence battle right now. Sweet. See if we can snipe this guy with our 50 caliber. Oh, look at this guy right here. Oh, let's totally snipe him. I don't know what this guy's doing. Hopefully he's writing a goodbye letter. Oh, shit! He turned to pink dust. Oh, my God. That was awesome. Let's have some of our guys heal up. All right, we got everybody still with us, I'm pretty sure. Everybody's healing up. A little bit of a battle there. We may have ran them out of town. Awesome. So that explosion probably muffled by the battle going on around us. We got to get moving, though. We don't have this kind of time. Reinforcements can come from behind any second. Let's get this sniper to take the long, long road. All right, anybody there? see a bird flying around. That bird's crazy. Let's get up here. I don't know where those guys went. Right, so we don't want to destroy any of the important infrastructure, and it looks like they've occupied the village down there, so avoiding that's probably the best thing for us. These guys are ready to ambush everywhere. Their objective is to hold there. So those assassins, that was some definitely serious GRM presence. So obviously we can get some intelligence from inside this building too and find out more about their plan. Navy SEALs don't have to clear the map, just Navy SEALs have to go in and get some stuff. Alright, this guy's gathering intel. We'll prepare for a uh, second move. I don't know why this guy's... Look at how heavy that thing looks. He's carrying it like that. There's no way. This guy's spawning a vehicle or something? No? Alright, I don't know where the rest of those troops went. A couple of them look like they're down. U.S. Navy SEALs won. Hell yeah. Alright, we got all the uh, information we need here. Go ahead and move forward. Now, we should have a demo ex expert with us. I hope we can use uh, what he's got. We should have somebody. Oh, there we go. The medic. Oh, wow. Not only a medic, but also an explosives expert. An explosive medic, you guys. Accurate as hell. 
Oh, the hell was that? Whoa, okay, well, speaking of that, holy shit, get down. That's what he was on to. Oh, shit, that thing's on fire. Whoa, no need for the explosives, expert. That thing is gonna explode. Oh, that's awesome, the crew's bailing out. Oh, there it goes. Holy shit. Wow, I really wanted to sneak up behind that thing and uh, put down some C4. Oh, shit, they got a vehicle on the move. All right, we got all the in intel we need. We're going to head up here and see if we can sneak out. Let's get that 50 cal online. Fuck you. There you go. Rockets are firing. What the hell is he shooting at? Another vehicle in front of us? I don't know. We got to get out of here, you guys. Oh, shit. That tank is still operational? No way. Burned out. Oh, there's a guy behind it. Oh, shit. That guy's... That's not good. All right, we gotta pin him down, get in there with a grenade. So that truck tried to totally ambush us. A lot of enemy factories up here. This must be where the uh, armor was hiding. A lot of buildings up here in the mountains. Might be hard for our uh, drones and such to see. There we go, nade out automatically, nice. Very good AI. Oh, a couple of guys there. Oh, they don't wanna have it, huh? All right, that's fine. That's no problem. If you don't want to die from a grenade. Oh, look at that. They've got an actual throwing arc going on now. I'm going to use my explosives after all, though. Oh, what the hell? It bounced off his head. <laughs> all right. Well, obviously, our uh, presence is uh, known. Holy shit. Did that guy die? Yes, sir. He better. Unless it was... Yeah, he's dead. Okay, great. All right, let's get out of here. Everybody's still alive. Just pretend. And then uh, we're on our way out of here. So Operation Sledgehammer coming up next. We've got a huge force of uh, U.S. troops coming in. We've got some big tanks now. Obviously, the enemy is sending in a lot of troops to uh, hold us back. And uh, there's a large power plant area that needs to be taken. Uh, obviously, we're nearby with the substation here. So stay tuned for more of that in Operation Sledgehammer. Thanks for joining me for Operation Screwdriver. I'd say the enemy screwed. Let's get out of here, guys. Let's go have some seal meat. Yeah. Awesome.